Shalom. <clears throat> Shalom. September 12th, 2024. God is blessing me like never before. No matter what it looks like. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. I'm just going to read a few scriptures out loud this morning to start my day. The Lord says... I will make you like a signet ring. We receive your reign, Lord. We receive your your love and your reign, Lord, like a flood of your love. We receive your reign like a flood of your love. Like a flood. Like a flood. Receive your love when you come like a flood, like a flood. We receive your love when you come like a flood, like a flood. We receive your love when you come like a flood. God said, the Lord says, I will make you like a signet ring. I don't think you heard me. He said, I will make you like a signet ring. He didn't say, I'll give you a, a signet ring. <clears throat> he may do that too. But he said, I will make you like a signet ring. God said, I was an ancient prophetic gemstone and a royal diadem and a representative of Jacob's family as an impartaker. And it showed me a white crystal opal set in gold. When I asked him, how does he see me? I asked God, how does he see me before I went to bed one night while I was praying? And he gave me a vision I woke up at least about five times in the night having visions. And it said I was an ancient prophetic gemstone and a royal diadem and a representative of Jacob's family as an impartaker. And the Lord says, I will make you like a signet ring. I will make you like a signet ring, like a white crystal opal set in gold, like a royal diadem and an ancient prophetic gemstone for I have chosen you this is God's message message to Zerubbabel this is God's message to Zerubbabel so Zerubbabel was the one who restored the temple in Jerusalem with King Cyrus and God gave him blueprints on how to do it and he would have typecast or foreshadow of Jesus coming to restore Israel. So that was God's message to Zerubbabel. <clears throat> he said, I'll make you like a signet ring. Promising that he has been chosen. He was chosen as their leader. And he said, God said, take note from this day forward. Take note from September 12th, 2024 forward. From the day when the foundation was laid for God's temple, take note. While the seed is still in the granary, and the vine and the fig tree and the pomegranate and the olive tree have not yet borne fruit. From this day on, I will send blessings. They couldn't see it. They couldn't see it with the natural eyes because the seed was still in the granary and the vine and the fig tree and the pomegranate and the olive tree had not borne their fruit yet. So they couldn't see the fruit yet. They couldn't see the seeds yet. God said from this day forward, 
I'm sending blessings even though you can't see it. You can't see it, but I'm sending blessings. You may be thinking, why is all this happening? Because God is in control and he's moving you. And the word of God came to Haggai a second time. And he says, speak to Zerubbabel, the governor of Judah. I'm going to be ruling territories with God. <clears throat> Speak to Zerubbabel, the governor of Judah. I'm going to shake the heavens and the earth. God is shaking the heavens and the earth right now. Everything that can be shaken is being shaken. And he said, I will overturn the thrones of kingdoms and destroy the might of the kingdoms of the nations. And this is what's happening right now. God is overturning the thrones of kingdoms and destroying the might of the kingdoms of the nations. And people are raising up, rising up all over the world against their tyrannical governments. And he said, I will overturn their chariots and their drivers and their horses and their riders shall fall. And they shall each fall by the sword of their fellow. Because if you live by the sword, you die by the sword. On that day, declares the God of hosts, I will take you, O oh my servant Zerubbabel, the one who I made like a signet ring. I will make you like a signet ring. And I will wear you. God said, I'll wear you. This lady gave me a prophetic word a few weeks ago at the new worship center I'm going to. She walked over to me and she said, it's not happenstance that you came to this church, this worship center. She said, God has brought you here. And she said, you're going to impact the world as an evangelist. And then she looked at me and said, just as you wear Jesus on your hat, and the star of Israel on your shirt, God is going to wear you. That was the word she gave me. Never met her, it was my first time at the church, at the worship center. And God says, I'm gonna make you like a signet ring and I'm gonna wear you. I will take you, declares the Lord, and make you as my signet ring. For I have chosen you and I'm gonna wear you. People are going to see my glory on you. Amen. And um, also Joseph. Joseph, the one who was accused of rape and thrown in prison. When Pharaoh brought him out of the prison, Pharaoh said to Joseph, Since God has made all, made all this known to you, and there is none so discerning and wise as you, you shall be in charge of my court, and by my command shall all my people be directed. Only with respect to the throne shall I be superior to you. Then Pharaoh further said to Joseph, <clears throat> See, I put you in charge of all the land of Egypt, and remove him even after he was accused of rape, falsely, falsely accused of rape, and thrown into slavery by his own brothers. A lot of people don't realize that Africans are selling their own people into slavery even this, to this day. And the Pharaoh removed his signet ring from his hand and the Pharaoh put it on Joseph's hand and he had him dressed in robes of fine linen and put a gold chain around his neck. He had him ride in the chariot of his second in command, and they cried before him, a brick. Thus he placed over him over all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, I am Pharaoh, yet without you no one shall lift up hand or foot in all of the land of Egypt. And 
Pharaoh then gave Joseph a new name. I looked it up once. I'm going to have to go find it again. But Pharaoh gave Joseph a new name. Zaphonoth Pania. Zaphonoth Pania. And he gave him for a wife, a Seneth, daughter of Potiphar, priest of On, daughter of Potiphera, not Potiphar, daughter of Potiphera, priest of On. Thus Joseph merged, emerged in charge of the land of Egypt. Is who you are. It's who you are. God say you can have what you say. If God speaks a word over you, you need to speak it over yourself and remind yourself daily. Because you can have what you say. To go find the meaning real quick of that word. Zephanoth Pania. Zephanoth Pania. tell you right now what it means. It means the man to whom mysteries are revealed. Pharaoh called Joseph's new name Zaphnath Pania, which means the man to whom mysteries are revealed. And God's favor was on Joseph, his true favor. And everybody that helped him God blessed all that they had. And as he interpreted, he was restored to his office. And Pharaoh brought him hastily out of the dungeon. God, now pour your overflow oil and fresh fire glory over Joseph in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah.